Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Beige. If you are new here, welcome. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and comment down below so that I know you stopped by. So today's video is gonna be all about this new product, which I am so excited to share with you today. So if you love crochet braids and you also love headband wigs, now you can have the best of both worlds because both of them have now collided. Introducing Free Tresses Headband Crochet Wig Cap. It features a diamond shaped netted cap, it has a stretchable cooling headband that was created using sweat-free, fast-drying band material. It has an adjustable Velcro strap and also built-in combs for extra security. So Freetress also released another headband wig cap. This one is their headband dome cap, which features a breathable mesh dome cap, a stretchable cooling headband, which is sweat-free and was created with a fast-drying band material. It has an adjustable Velcro strap and built-in combs for security. This cap would be used for sewing. So today I'll be using the headband crochet cap and I'll be crocheting three packs of the 3X Pearl Curl 18 inch color 1B by Free Tress. Grabbing the crochet headband wig cap, I'm going to place it on my mannequin head and begin crocheting. The diamond shape of the net on the left and right of the wig cap are larger than the diamond shapes in the center of the wig cap, meaning you'll be using most of the bulk of hair on the center of the wig cap and not so much hair on the left and right sides of the wig. My friend was at my house and she helps me crochet the wig. All in all, with us both crocheting the hair onto the wig cap, it took less than 30 minutes for us to complete the entire head. Because this is a netted cap, you will not have enough hair for each and every single diamond shape on the wig cap. So you wanna make sure that you're spreading out the crochet braids. Not only because you won't have enough hair for every single diamond shape on the wig cap, but the hair does expand and get bigger. So you don't want it to be too, too, too big once you expand it and loosen the curls out. So be very mindful of the placement of each crochet braids. I have three packs today and that should complete the entire head. So today's video is going to be so interesting to me because although I have tried so many different headband wigs in the past, I have never ever ever tried a DIY headband wig, let alone a crochet headband wig. And I'm excited about this because my edges have been on vacation for so long now and I don't think they're coming back. And of course I would love to try braids, I would love to crochet my hair, but I just don't have the hairline for it. So when I saw this cap, I was so happy because I know that in the summertime, even in the winter time, I'm gonna wanna have braids and why not have the braids but not put any pressure on your edges if your hairline is weak like mine and you get the whole look of a crochet, not even crochet, you get the whole look of braids or some type of crochet hairstyle without actually having to spend so many hours and so much of your time putting it in your hair yourself. So this is my first time ever crocheting any type of wig cap at all. Back in the day when I did my crochets, I would do it on my own natural hair. So this is just a genius, genius idea and I am super excited about this video. Like with any headband wig, you wanna make sure that your base or foundation is a wig cap. And because this one is netted and not every single part of the wig cap has crochets on it because then it will be like way too big. Um, there are certain sections that do not have any of the crochets in it as you can see right I don't want this to show through like if I had a brown or natural looking wig cap on underneath this you will be it will look just like this when the wind blows it will look just like this literally and in order to cover that or to conceal the fact that 
there's some spaces throughout this wig, I'm gonna have to wear an all black wig cap underneath. When it comes down to wearing crochet hair, a lot of times the hair does get super full and thick, especially this type of kinky curl. And that is the reason why four packs was enough for the entire head, because if I would have did eight packs, 10 packs, Honey, that would have been too heavy for my head. It probably would not have been able to stay down. And on top of it, it would have been way, 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 way too much hair for my face, for my head. So um, I'm okay with it not being completely on the entire wig cap. You're not gonna be able to see this anyway. So now that I have the first black cap on, I'm gonna put the second one on on top of it. I just wanna make sure that it is completely opaque so that you won't see anything underneath it. And then one thing I like about crochets too is that you don't have to spend a ton of money buying crochet hair. You can get the Conecalon hair, you can get this type of hair, you can get actual braids, you can braid hair onto it. Y'all, it's just so many different types of hairstyles. So this is kinda of like a life-changing thing for people who love braids or crochets but don't necessarily have the time to do it or has a weak hairline like mine. Okay, so now that I have on my two black wig caps, I'm just going to loosen the Velcro. Look how full this hair is, y'all. It's super pretty too. I am going to put the comb in the back first into the back of my nape. I'm gonna stretch the wig forward. <laughs> This is really pretty. Then I'm just gonna position it to how I want it to be. Okay, so now it's fully secure. Here is the headband wig. I love the fact that you can make this as full or as thin as you want it. You can completely control the density. You don't have to make it as long as this. You could have cut it in half and did more of a fuller bob hairstyle. If I would have cut it in half, obviously it would be shorter, right? But it will also be fuller because I would have twice as much hair. Okay, so now that our headband wig is on and it's secure, I am going to fold the front of it backwards or you could fold it underneath. And I'm gonna push it backwards, just so that you can see a little bit of my hairline. And because my hairline is weak, I'm gonna have to go in with colored edges and basically fake some baby hairs in the front, y'all. But... So I don't know if you can see this whole thing that's going on right now, but this hair is such, such a vibe right now. I'm gonna experiment with two different headbands just to see the different looks that I could come up with. But of course, because this is curly hair, I am able to separate it. Separate it to make it fuller. I can also cut it if I want to get a bob hairstyle. This is a really, really, really pretty curl. Perfect for the summer, perfect for spring. I'm obsessed. I really am. I am obsessed, y'all. Ooh, this is look. Look at that. Okay, I love it. I love it combed out like this. Okay, this is giving me natural hair and a braid out. That's what this is giving me right now. I love it. This is beautiful. Uh, so beautiful. So are you feeling this curl pattern as it came straight out of the package, which is super pretty, or do you love it brushed out like this? Let's chat down below in the comments. Okay, so now that I got this side done, and I am obsessed, obviously, <laughs> I'm going to do the other side, and I'll come right back. Okay, so now that I am finished finger combing through this wig, <laughs> loving it, loving it, loving it. So pretty, so full, so gorgeous. I love the curl pattern. I love how full it is. Of course, you do not have to run your fingers through it like I did. And if you want it to be full, but not as full, obviously you wouldn't spend so much time separating it the way that I did. Or you could just leave it the way that it was straight out of the package. Either way, you can't go wrong with this curl. It's a must have for the summer. Let's 
sad part for this one. <laughs> I love this. Of course, I can layer it and make it shorter. I love this. I'm obsessed. Let's talk about this down below in the comment section. Alright, so this is the middle part. The first one was kind of like the side part, flip over, and this is the middle part. It's just so pretty, and the fact that it's getting frizzy just makes it look so natural. I love it. Like, I'm obsessed. Are you not obsessed with this? Virgin hair could never, it can never. If you had a scarf to make it into a pineapple, it would be so cute. So Shake and Go definitely did their thing with this wig cap construction because it's what was missing on the market and I'm so happy to have finally gotten my hands on it. It was such a genius idea for them to come up with that and I'm just excited to see what's next. However, I'll be going to pick up a few more of these. Thank you so much for watching. I will have all of the information down below in the description box so don't forget to check that box out. Let's chat down below in the comment section. Which was your favorite look? Where would you wear that look to? Would you be getting your hands on this headband crochet wig cap? And how do you feel about these beautiful, beautiful gorgeous curls? Let's chat down below in the comment section. As always, I thank you for watching and I can't wait to see you all in my next video. Bye guys. Thank you. It's Bezo Zay. Yeah, that's right. It's Bezo Zay. Ay, ay.